Welcome to the HTML Learning Series. I'm Marty Baker. This video covers the final competency demonstration for the HTML5 and CSS3 topics of the PACE IT Web Application Developer Certificate. In this video, there will be a review of competency-based education. This video will cover the two options for demonstrating competency in the HTML CSS3 topics. I will discuss the CIW Site Development Associates exam and the Personal Professional website and we'll look at the grading rubric and finally the next steps. So competency-based education. From the Glossary of Education Reform at edglossary.org, competency-based education is the learning Learning refers to the system of instruction, assessment, grading, and academic reporting that are based on students demonstrating that they have learned the knowledge and the skills they are expected to learn as they progress through their education. There are four pieces to competency-based education. Foundation, where you're learning the traits and the characteristics of the topics that you're learning. You're given learning experiences. You developed in the learning process skills, abilities, and knowledge, and these become integrated learning experiences. You are looked at for your acquired skills, abilities, and knowledge. These are your competencies. And finally, there's assessment of your performance. You have to demonstrate that you understand the topics. There are two options for demonstrating competency in HTML5 and CSS3. The first is the CIW Site Development Associate Industry Exam. ID 16061B and the second is to create a professional personal website, a portfolio project. The CIW exam and what you can expect when you go in to take the competency is a 30 minute multiple choice exam. The passing score is 63.33%. There is a 30 minute timeline and you can take the exam through one of Edmonds Community College proctors. If you're not close enough to Edmonds Community College, you can take the exam at a Prometric or Pearson View testing center. The Personal Professional website allows you to create a website that can be used as a beginning of a portfolio. So you'll be creating a static website. It has within it seven documents. Six of those documents are web pages. There is one CSS page and you're also expected to document the website. Be sure to look at the rubric on the assignment and make sure that you're meeting all of those criteria. There are 26 different items within the rubric. You can see them all here. But as you read through the rubric that's on the assignment, make sure you check off that you've hit all of these things within your assignment. Your next steps. You should take the Certification Partners Pre-Assessment Survey. Get an idea of what you know and what you need to study. Determine what competency that you will be doing, and if you have any questions, be sure to ask your student mentor. Thank you for watching. 